Hello everybody and welcome to my second Paladins rework concept. In this video, I will be discussing a possible rework to Moji, moving her from the flank to the support class. I've had a couple of rework ideas in my head for a while, but what prompted this rework idea was a tweet posted in roughly 2019 about reworking Moji into support. I'm sorry, I tried to find the tweet to show you guys proof, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Anyways, such a change didn't happen. So, I figured it would still be cool to concept. Before we begin, I want to briefly skim upon some of Moji's current issues. Moji is a character who can dominate low-level lobbies while getting trampled in the high-level ones. On the high level of the spectrum, Moji is terrible because for a flank champion, she is huge. Yet, she still has the standard 2200 health pool. On top of being huge, Moji also lacks poke, or range damage, which is vital for a flank champion to have. On the low level of the spectrum, Moji is a beast, hosting the highest DPS in the game. If you are properly timing yourself, Moji can deal upwards of 1,856 DPS, which against unaware or new players can be devastating. If you have watched my other rework videos, you will know that I try my best to not delete a character that many have fallen in love with. In most of my reworks, only one ability gets altered. However, for the support rework, Moji won't have any abilities removed. I'll explain Moji's new stats, then go into my reasonings afterwards. Keep in mind with all these reworks, it's not so much the numbers that matter, but the principle. Also, I had a lot of trouble deciding on what numbers would be balanced for this rework. Well, let's begin! Moji's health pool will be increased from 2200 at base to 2400 at base. Moji's secondary fire, the Familiar Spray, will have its damage reduced from 30 a tick to 25 a tick. However, on top of damaging enemies, the spray will now heal allies for the same amount and will fill magic marks on allies hit. Moji's primary fire, the Familiar Spit, will have a similar treatment, with the ability now being usable on both allies and enemies. The Spit's unmarked damage will be lowered from 300 to 150, while the full marked damage will be lowered from 1000 to 600. The Magic Barrier can now be cancelled early, after one second of use. The Scamper will now grant half of the ability's momentum when used in the air. And last up, the ultimate, Bon Appetit. The health pool of the snack will go up from 1500 to 3000 HP. However, the snack will no longer be damage immune, except against Moji's attacks. Moji will still be able to execute the snack by making contact. When I was thinking of this concept, I wanted to concept a healer playstyle that isn't present in Paladins. So, I thought to make Moji different from other supports by being a close-range, in-your-face type healer. All of the supports in this game are required to play in the backline due to their low health, comboed with ranged capabilities on their healing and weapons. Not Moji. To get max value from Moji, you have to be up close and personal. So, let's cover my thoughts behind each change to Moji's base kit. HP. Giving Moji's health a bump up will promote her staying in the front lines and addresses her huge hitbox. Familiar Spray slash Spit. I'll start with the spray first. I wanted to make it a point that Moji heals for the same amount that she damages. Going from 30 to 25 a tick, the Familiar Spray will go from dealing 428 DPS to dealing 357 DPS. Since the spray will be Moji's form of AoE healing, I wanted the numbers to feel similar to that of a Grok totem. Moji will be healing a bit more than Grok's 300 heals a second, but will be limited by range. Then the spit. I lowered the unmarked damage to emphasize this new close range playstyle. Since Moji won't be a flank anymore, the loss of poke damage won't matter too much. The change to the max damage was made to both address Moji's absurdly high DPS, while also creating a reasonable healing per second for a support without cooldowns. I tried to base the healing around other healers who don't have cooldowns in between their heals, that being Io, Spirit's Domain Grok, and Combat Medic Pip. Spirit's Domain Grok heals for 700 heals a second, Combat Medic Pip heals for 750 a second, and Io heals for 1000 a second with Moonlight. For Moji, the new healing and damage per second with max marks goes down from 1856 DPS to 1214 DPS, which is still high. But unlike other healers, Moji will have to commit to being in close range to achieve these high numbers. The change to the magic barrier and scamper 
are more so just quality of life buffs. The scamper not granting movement in the air is absurd, especially for a flank. And last up, the ultimate. I want to preface, you can still use the ultimate exactly like you do now. If Moji makes contact, the snack will be devoured on the spot. I opted not to reduce the ability lockouts, since Moji will be a support executing a target instead of a flank. On to the new stuff. Increasing the snack's HP, but making it vulnerable to enemy fire. Allowing your allies to target the snack makes the ultimate into a side grade of Pip's Evil Mojo. You trade crazy AoE polymorphs for a single polymorph that your whole team can clobber on. Next, let's talk about a few card changes. Same deal as before, I list the changes, then explain myself afterwards. Greater Good Life Seal upped from 6% to 10% per level. Nature's Blessing Old Charge lowered from 0.4 to 0.2% per level. Cozy New effect. Taking damage while magic barrier is active, heals yourself and allies for 20 HP per level in a 25 unit area. Scurry. Altered effect. Heal for 100 HP per level over 2 seconds when you activate Scamper. Dense Woods. New effect. Hitting an unmarked ally with familiar spit increases their movement speed by 7% per level for 1 second. Morning Breath. New effect. After healing a fully marked ally, grant them 15% lifesteal for 1 second per level. These are what Moji's new cards would look like. Feel free to pause the video if needed. So, overall, not a lot of card changes. The buff to the Greater Good card is to keep the healing numbers roughly the same as they are now. The nerf to the Nature's Blessing card is due to the fact that Moji will be generating her ultimate faster due to gaining ult charge from healing. Cozy. The old Cozy would heal Moji for 50 a level for the 2 seconds that Magic Barrier is active. This new card is similar to an old card that Moji had, where she would heal 100 per level every time the enemy shot her barrier. That old card was super annoying to fight against, but had a cool concept. I opted to lower the healing a lot, but now, the healing will apply to Moji's teammates as well, allowing Moji to still heal while under fire. 25 units matches the same range as Moji's 2 Cloud. Scurry. This is a quality of life change in my opinion. The current Scurry heals you for up to 500 over the 1.5 second duration of Scamper. However, if you cancel the ability early, you lose out on your healing. Changing the card to heal regardless if you Scamper or not will make it so that you don't have to awkwardly shuffle in the corner to get your max healing. Dense Woods. The current version of the card increases the duration of magic marks, which is so pointless. This new version will allow Moji to assist teammates who are out of her spray range by providing a speed boost. This card will be great for allies pushing in, or for those who need aid in a retreat. I opted for the card to only apply to unmarked targets, due to a talent buff coming soon. Last of the card changes is Morning Breath. Currently, it grants Moji move speed when you apply a magic mark. I removed this version, since Moji will have a more reliable way of gaining a move speed bonus with a talent. So, this new card. I honestly couldn't think of anything better. My main goal with this card was to provide Moji a way to heal allies who may walk out of her range. I didn't want the healing to make up for Moji's absence in the fight though, hence why the time limit is scalable and not the actual lifesteal percentage. Alright, last up is Moji's talents, none of which are being removed, just tweaked. Boom Boom will have its AoE damage upped from 75% to 100% of the spit's damage. Snack Attack will now have the health drop activate whenever any ally gets an elimination, regardless if Moji assists or not. Also, hitting your ultimate on an enemy will drop a health pack for you and your team to use. And last up, Toot. On top of healing, Toot will grant allies a 20% speed boost for 3 seconds. Moji has some weird talents. It's like they originally wanted her to be a support. Let's start with my reasons for buffing Boom Boom. This is to make sure that the AoE spit damage is still impactful. Due to Moji's spit damage going down, her AoE damage will be going down from 750 to 600, but overall the talent will feel the same. Pick this talent if you want to focus on being a damage dealer instead of a healer. The buff to Snack Attack will grant Moji more AoE healing and a way to heal teammates out of range. I still believe that this is Moji's worst talent though. 
If your team isn't killing anything, then you're essentially playing without a talent. Which is why I opted for this talent to give you a free health drop when you ult. With the bonus drop, multi players will have the option to ult early if a teammate needs a bailout. Last up is the partial revert to the toot talent. In case you guys don't know, on top of healing, the toot talent would boost your team's move speed by 30% for 3 seconds. I toned the move speed down a smidge due to how often you could get scamper off a cooldown. This talent will be the go-to for a self-sustaining Moji and will allow Moji to set up engagements or retreats with her team. And that's the Moji support rework. What do you guys think? Overpowered? Underpowered? Fun? Boring? Let me know down below. Don't forget to clap that like button and laser down that subscribe button. Snatching the bell is also a great way to keep in the loop. As always, I'm your Ninja. And why are they shooting at me?